Hi! Ang pagpakamaayos ang ginoo maging sa inyo. God bless you today. Uh, andito naman ulit ako upang ipagpatuloy natin yung ating pag-uusap. Ngayon, nandito na tayo sa Obedience Part 2. When I took an exam for driver's license, nag-lecture mo na. Sa isang lecture na yon, isang uh, bagay ang binigyan niya ng malaking emphasis, yung mga pangyayari doon sa intersection, kung saan that if you are not going to obey uh, the rules dyan, marami ang nagkakabanggaan, marami ang nadidisgrasya, marami ang nadadala sa ospital, marami ang namamatay. Intersection. Kasi dyan, dyan na limit nangyayari ang mga sakuna. So that is one thing that when you are driving, you have to observe and you have to follow in order that you will be safe. Another one more thing, uh, mga kaibigan. By the way, I have four children. At nung college na sila, sabi ko, there's only one thing that I reminded them. If you want diploma, you should not enter into a relation. Aral mo na. Wala mo na boyfriend and girlfriend. In Exodo 2012, God has a law. No? God has given us 10 commandments to follow. At sa ikaanim na utos dyan, nagsasabi, Honor thy father and thy mother. And that is the only promise that God has a reward if you are going to follow that. What is that? You are going to live a longer life. Yes, dear. You open your Bible and read that. Exodus 2012. And luckily I am, and so happy I am, because my children listened to me. They graduated. They are all professionals with uh, flying co colors, modesty aside. May cum laude, may dance list, take one lang ang mga board exam nila. And now, they are enjoying their job and with their partners. See that? So that is only a comparison, the result of being an obedient. Another one thing. Let's go to the Bible character, Daniel. You know Daniel? Daniel, when, when he was thrown into the uh, lion's den, tinapon siya doon, the king loved him so much. But alam naman natin, utos ng hari hindi nababali. But what happened? Kinain ba siya? Sinakmal ba siya ng mga lion doon sa... sa Doon sa loob ng pinaglagyan sa kanya, hindi. Because the angel shot the mouth of the lions. At kinaumagahan, pinuntaan siya ng hari. And nakita ng hari, ng hari na siya ay iniligtas ng Panginoon niya. Because Daniel is a good, a respectful and obedient child of God. There is another thing. The king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar, I think. Yeah. Um, nagpagawa siya ng golden statue. At mayroon siyang utos na ang sino man na makarinig ng huni ng trumpita. Kailangan ang lahat ng mga tao, lahat ng rasa, lahat ng language, lahat na makarinig kailangan magbigay ng paggalang doon sa golden statue. Napakataas nun yun, guys. Napakalaki golden and one day, yun nga, tumunog yung trumpita at lahat na abot ng tanaw ng hari, nakita niya ang lahat ng mga tao doon na nagbigay galang doon sa golden statue. By the way, mayroon tatlong tao na hindi, hindi sumunod sa utos ng hari. Sino yan? Daniel and his friend. At dahil utos ng hari hindi nababali, wala siyang magawa. Tina, it, pinasok siya doon sa horn of fire na napakainit. 
na kung sa bagay guys yung guard na naglagay sa kanila doon in sigida or immediately died because of too much heat. But while they were inside the horn of fire, the king observed and this man na hindi lang si Daniel at ang kanyang mga kaibigan ang nandoon. There was a man wearing that white cloth na para bang siya isang I don't know, I can't describe. At nag-uusap lang sila doon sa loob, hindi sila nasusunog. So the king called them to go out. At nang lumabas sila doon, guys, you know what? They examined Daniel and his friend, yung buhok, katitingman ni isamang gutlo ng buhok, ay hindi nasunog. Isamang kaunti mang part ng damit ay walang sunog. Hindi sila nasunog ng apoy. Ni walang, walang amoy ng uso. See? That is how God protect those people who obey and respect Him. It's not only by saying faith. We need to show our faith through our works. And, God, and Daniel did not obey the king command because he has only one God, the God who is in heaven who created heaven and earth. Abraham, the father of all nations, matanda na sila binigyan ng anak, si Isaac. They were very happy and Isaac was their only treasure. Sa kanilang katandaan, iyon na lang ang kanilang kamayamanan at napakalaga sa kanila ng mag-asawa ni Sarah. But one good day, God told Abraham, Offer your son, bring him in the Mount Moriah and offer him to me. Papayag ka ba dyan? But without so much ado, Abraham the next morning, bring Isaac there. The Mount of Moriah, and habang nakaiga si Isaac and he was about to stab him, an angel hold his hand. At hindi nangyari yun. A test of loyalty. A test of origins. God said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who does the will of God who is in heaven. Guys, God has given us Ten Commandments and the Ten Commandments is divided into two. Love to God and love to your neighbor. Usually, we obey the Ten Commandments, the, the love to your neighbor because if we are going to violate them, we will be in prison. The government will run to us and will bring us to jail. We will be in court. But what about Love to God. Sinusunod ba natin yan? Usually, doon tayo napifail. Naiinis ako doon sa isang station sa FM. Sabi niya doon, Oh my God! Oh my God! Para bang nakakita siya ng crush niya? Oh my God! Paulit-ulit. Hindi ba niya alam? At ng kanyang leaders, hindi ba sila tinuruan? That it, it is... In God's commandment not to use the name of God in vain. Minsan na sinasabi lang natin, Oh, Diyos ko, dai! Ano ba yan, dai? Diyos ko, napakaganda! No, you should not do that. You have to use the name of God in... Thou shall not take the name of God in... Kailangan pag gumamit ka ng pangalan ng Panginoon ay with respect. Sad to say. The other one is, Thou shall not have other gods before me. Malungkot ngayon, marami tayong gods, money, power, corruption, pangungurakot kung paano makakwarta itong COVID na ito. Grabe yung nangyayari ngayon. Our gadget, when you woke up in the morning, nauuna pa natin siyang binubuksan. Instead of praying and thanking God for keeping us safe the whole night. And the rest, I want you to read your Bible and open 
x to the 20. That is the record of the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments was given to Noah. Ah, no, no. Was given to Moses in the Mount of Sinai. Written by his own finger, handed to Moses for all generations to come. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Pero sabi niya, hindi ni isang tuldok man ang mawawala kung di ang lahat ay matutupad. One day soon, God will come and will reward each of us according to our actions. Sabi niya, in my father's house are many mansions. I go and prepare a place for you. And when I prepare a place for you, I will come again at kukunin kita. And I will bring you there that where I am, nandoon ka rin. Guys, sa 